Two time or three times? Great he's your, he's my four, he's your three. Okay. When I look at this photo of Willoughby Tillis, it brings about a lot of mixed emotions. He is my three times great grandfather, as well as the slave owner of my family. And, you know, it just, it takes my mind every which way. He was owner and also biological father of my two times great grandfather, Nelson Tillis. This is Nelson Tillis. He is my great, great, great grandfather. Um, I am so amazed by him because he founded a school, founded a church, he was a landowner. I feel as though my pioneering spirit was an end result of having this ancestor who blazed a trail. After slavery ended, Nelson was the first person of color to arrive in Fort Myers. Nelson migrated down here with his Caucasian wife, Ellen Summerall Tillis, and they began to homestead here. This was a white woman who had everything to lose by stepping outside of the boundaries. These two had the courage, the love, to set up a household in what had been Confederate Florida. Nelson and Ellen would have 11 children and many grandchildren becoming one of the important founding families of Fort Myers. At the Williams Academy Black History Museum, images from the Tilla story are on display. But there's still a lot to uncover. I have something I'd like to share with you. Mm -hmm. The Lee County Black History Society found this photograph. Apparently, it is of Ellen Summerall Tillis and her son. Wow. Have you ever seen this image before? No. So this is your great, great grandmother? Yes. Wow. So the back says Ellen Summerall Tillis and son Elijah. Wow. That is incredible. She had at least two children that would pass. Uh -huh. Passing meant passing as white in order to avoid segregation and discrimination. One was my Aunt Ida, uh -huh. and, I, and I'm thinking he must have been him. <laughs> he looks like he could pass. Exactly. In fact, he looks like he's a, a blonde hair exactly. child. Exactly, right. Very fair skin. Yes. In fact, I can see the resemblance with you, I, with your I, high cheekbones. I think I do look like nose. them. I think I do. I do have their nose. Wow. Yes. That is so amazing. So where exactly are we right now? We're in the historic Henderson Cemetery in Fort Myers, mm -hmm. and this is the grave of Ellen Tillis. The cemetery was segregated by race, and so only black people could be buried here. If a white woman married a black man, she essentially lost her right to be considered a white woman. If you lived black, you died black. I always leave little things of remembrance. Blue because of the ocean, you know, when they were fishermen. Flowers because, you know, they were farmers. I don't see Nelson's grave marker here? No, there's no grave marker for Nelson because Nelson disappeared and we believe that he was killed. And so we don't know where his body lies. I, I pray that we will know someday, but until then we have her, their story, and you know, we can build a world from that. <laughs> 